It is 11.36. You are listening to the Mid-Morning Talk on Salam Media. Kids these days are so smart. And I mean, if you ask them anything, they're going to answer you in the best way possible. I mean, they know what's happening around them. Uh, I mean, we the, the coronavirus. Kids can give you answers about the coronavirus. They will tell you who Ramaphosa is. They will... Basically, they know everything. <laughs> they know everything. They are so smart and they are so uh, uh, tech savvy as well. From the president to the coronavirus, they know it all. And sometimes uh, these current affairs can become too overwhelming. I mean, even for adults, watching the news, seeing videos circulating about the current undress, about lootings, about killings, about uh, anything that is uh, happening around us, when it becomes so overwhelming, you know, it's so, it's so much for us as adults to take in. And what about the kids? they also tend to develop certain feelings towards um, uh, uh, the, towards the situation around them. And how do you, as a parent, talk to your child about current affairs? How do you uh, uh, break down the news to them in an in a, in a, in a easy way, a way that's not traumatizing today, a way that doesn't leave them feeling so overwhelmed? Uh, if you would like to share your thoughts, uh, you can send them through to our WhatsApp line on 061-766-0355. Alternatively, you can leave them in the comment section below. We are live on Facebook. Dr. Pam Tudin, a clinical psychologist, forensic psychologist, leadership development consultant, parent-child educator, author, and mom, is here to tell us more. Uh, good morning, Dr. Pam, and thank you for joining me. So lovely to be with you. Thank you for the invitation. And just a point of clarity, mid-doctorate not completed, so just Pam is great. All right, all right. All right, so why is it important for children to know current affairs, and well, why does it matter to kids? So I think why it matters so much is because if we don't share the information with them in bite-sized chunks that are truthful but manageable, they pick it up in the same way that they pick up information about anything else. So, you know, whether it's uh, sex that they're going to hear about on the playing field or whether it's what's going on in the country at the moment, we want to be the ones who impart that information to them. We don't want it to come um, in a form and in a, in a shape that we're not happy with. So we want to be the ones who reflect our own family values. Uh, and the best way to do that is to be honest and truthful. Mm -hmm. And how does discussing current affairs with your children help them? So it helps them because they hear all the noise around them. Mm -hmm. What what it does is it helps us to impart our family values at the same time. So if we take the unrest, for example, at the moment, if we talk about how people are very angry, but that also there's a social context to it, that people have been hungry for a long time, that people, you know, without condoning the violent approach to it or without the, uh, condoning the, the, the chaos around it and the vandalism, it helps us to say to children, you know, Sometimes when people get very angry and they haven't been heard, they get distracted. You know, if I don't listen to you for a long time, sometimes you might throw your toy. Um, so in a way, what it just helps us to do is to turn things into um, information that is relatable to children and take some of the anxiety out of it. Mm -hmm. uh, how do we help our children understand what's going on in the world around us in an age-appropriate manner that's not uh, traumatizing to them? So what a lovely question, um, because it's different for every age group. So, you know, mm -hmm. if you think of little ones, they're very literal, very concrete in the way that they think. So they're hearing people at the moment say things like, oh, the country's going to the dogs or, you know, my granny's favorite. She used to say in the, in the late 70s, I used to hear her say, we're all going to wake up dead in our beds. And for years, I tried to make sense of what does that mean? <laughs> right? We're going to wake up dead in our bed. And so we have to be very careful careful with children um, what those how those concrete statements can be interpreted so it's best to 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 not be kind of metaphoric with little ones but to say to them you know it's time-based protests are happening but they don't last forever and you know this might be a few days and then things will calm down so it's about sharing it in that way with little ones um, and we are here as a family. We're still going to carry on doing what we always do. Um, it's about taking 
you know, that focus away, in, you know, not only speaking about what's going on, being careful not to have off the cuff responses when you're watching TV. Um, you know, so we comment on leadership all the time and we get aggressive about it. And they think, gee, if the country's out of control, look at my mom or dad, they're also out of control. So if they're anxious and out of control, what does that mean for me? So little ones see all of these things and they pick it up in the way that we pick up a virus, you know, it just lands on them. Then teenagers are very different. Teenagers love and need, because of the way that their brains are structured, they need a thrill, they need excitement. So when they hear some of this drama and they're seeing it on their smartphones and it's being streamed to them all the time and they're seeing fake news and it's exciting for some of them, it's anger making for some of them. So in those instances, we have to think very carefully about the conversations that we have with our teenagers. And it's about just being open and asking questions rather than prescribing to them how they should be thinking. You know, what do you think about how people are responding? What do you do when you get angry? Um, have you been in a position where you felt so angry that you mobilized people at school and then you brought about change? What brought about change? So taking the judgment out, you know, um, we, we've developed an app with my partner called, it's a clicked app. And there's a lot on that app about fake news and how to discern fake news. And it's fun and engaging for them. So those kinds of conversations, because that's their world. The teens want to be spoken to in a way where they think they know everything, as you said in the beginning, but we're still quietly filtering our own value system underneath that. Mm -hmm. All right. So speaking about filtering, uh, should we limit exposure to the news? I mean, I notice that sometimes we uh, tend to uh, probably change the channel a bit or uh, change the station on, on the radio, you know, just to uh, not let them hear all of that that's going on around the country. Absolutely. I think we and we have to do it for ourselves, you know, because it's like the more we listen to negativity, negativity breeds negativity. So we have to make a choice. We want information in order to stay informed. And when we've received that information, it's OK to turn off and do the things that keep your family tight. More than ever, this is a time to say, OK, I've heard what I need to. It's happening over there in this way. I will respond by maybe going to get petrol getting enough fresh water, but now we're all playing Monopoly. You know, what are the things that make your family feel tight? Bounder it. So we listen to the news twice a day and then we turn off. Mm -hmm. All right, so Pam, please stay with us. We're going to take a quick break and we'll continue the after. Sure, lovely. supplies to displaced families in Gaza. Our Love Palestine campaign has in the past provided food, water, and medical support. Donate today so we can continue to aid those in need. Gaza needs us. Donate today with your zakat, sadaqa, or lila. Visit our website www.pennyappeal.org.za or call 031-1100573. Penny Appeal, Love Palestine. Palestine, tomorrow will be free. Penny Appeal, small change, big difference. What makes Randery Jewelers the optimum place for your memorable gift? Is it our range of exclusive, high-end, luxurious jewelry? Or is it our master craftsmanship of all your bespoke jewelry needs? We believe it's because at Randery Jewelers, we know just how to make your special moments last forever. Whether it's for a wedding, anniversary, or just a simple gift to show your love, trust Randery Jewelers to make it special. www.randeryjewelers.com Make your moments last forever with Randery Jewelers, the family name you can trust. Africa. For your convenience, the Africa Muslims Agency's Durban office has moved to 797 Yansmats Highway, Sherwood, Durban. Our friendly staff are eagerly awaiting to receive, advise, and share with you the current ongoing campaigns and projects that you have been supporting for the last 35 years. Visit us at 797 Yansmats Highway, Sherwood, or call 031-207-5676. Africa Muslims Agency inspiring the spirit of giving.
Osman's Taj Mahal Spice and Rice. For over 80 years, Osman's Taj Mahal have been perfecting the art of the perfect blend of spices, pure, aromatic, and well-seasoned. Spices to tantalize your taste buds. From creative cuisines to gastronomical gourmet goodies, from exotic odors to traditional dishes, Osman's Taj Mahal have remained synonymous with quality spices and condiments, Taj Mahal rice, beans, and lentils. Try our range of chili bite mixes, rose and ilachi syrup, our quick and easy biryani pack, and our traditional range of spice blends. Osman Staj Mahal. There is no substitute for quality. It is with love that Prophet Ibrahim submitted completely to Allah. It is with love that charity is a pillar of faith. It is with love that Islamic relief will give your qurbani to those in need. Elevate the rewards of your sacred sacrifice by sharing your qurbani with vulnerable families around the world. It is neither their meat nor their blood that reaches Allah, but your piety. This is a sacrifice of many rewards. Enhance your blessings and share your qurbani with Islamic relief. Rejuvenating media day by day. This is Salam Media. It is 11.47. You are listening to the Mid-Morning Talk on Salam Media. If you have any comments, or questions or queries, please leave them in the comments section below or send them to us on WhatsApp. The number is 0617 We are talking about uh, talking to your child about current affairs with uh, clinical and forensic psychologist Pam Tudin. Uh, Pam, thank you for staying with us now. Uh, can situations uh, that we're currently facing, you know, the current situation, the unrest, can it cause nightmares and behavioral changes in children? Absolutely. And that is because they are not processing the information. And the reason they're not processing it often, not always, is because mm -hmm. we are not helping them to manage that information. So I don't say that um, as a blame, but it's often a sign that just, you know, we, we when we are in overload, when we go to sleep, the brain decides, okay, this is the time to try and make sense of everything that I heard. Um, mm -hmm. So it is just a reflection of the fact that they haven't managed to make sense of it. And it is a symptom of trauma. Nightmares, waking up in the middle of the night, having a sense all the time of a movie playing is definitely a child's way of expressing trauma. And we have to take that quite seriously. Mm -hmm. Now, with teenagers, how do you monitor the information that they receive from fake news to uh, graphic videos? What a huge question, <laughs> because, uh, you know, it's not just the unrest that they are seeing. They are seeing images all the time um, that, that relate to everything from pornogra pornography to violence to, you know, even um, there was a, a video that went viral on TikTok of somebody hanging themselves, uh, you know, as it's just unbelievable what children are, are accidentally coming across because on forums like TikTok or Reels, what we see is that there's a thing called a For You page, which is just imagine putting 100,000 ingredients into your magic mix or your blender and you scramble it in your brain and randomly whatever, you know, you just keep being fed these things. And because the teenage brain is wired to want risk and during COVID, they haven't been able to have natural risk. So instead of being able to have a hard hockey match where you take a swing at something and you have a dopamine rush, they haven't been able to have that. So they, in their bedrooms, scrolling mindlessly, coming across footage that they should never, ever come across. And the way to control that, which is really the golden question here, for us at Clicked is less about managing the time or the screen controls or which of course are important but the best control is your connection to your child because what you want is to be able to manage what happens when that happens you want to always be able to have enough of a rope between you and your child um, you also want to build up their emotional intelligence so that when they do come across it uh, they know how to respond so if they see violent context context uh, contexts or if they get asked to send a nude picture or if they um, 
spend hours on Instagram comparing themselves to other people's lives that look beautiful and skinny and, you know, all of those things that teenagers are so vulnerable to. If they have developed their EQ, if they've got what we call cyber savvy EQ, then what it doesn't matter what platform comes their way. It doesn't matter what footage because you have built an internal resilience. And, you know, on the, on the app, we've got all different ways for them to do that, that are fun and engaging. And it's teens talking to teens. It's no adult lecturing, telling them that their phones are bad for them. And, you know, if they, if they uh, spend time on TikTok, their life will blow up. They can't hear those messages in the same way that adults can't hear messages that are fear-based. We've taken, you know, if, if we keep giving children fear-based messages, they believe they're immune to the dangers that we're talking about. So the only way to reach them is with a message that becomes, gee, that looks like my life. I can relate to that. And that's what we've tried to achieve on the app um, in all the different modules. And we've had fabulous feedback on, gee, you get me. You guys get me. So <laughs> it makes that openness, which they, they might not otherwise have. All right. Uh, since we are talking about the app, would you like to tell us more? You know, thank you for, for that opportunity. But really what it, it, it was born, it was a corona baby, <laughs> born out of the need that we started to see, my partner and I, um, my, my business partner, Sarah Hoffman, that teens were becoming more and more exposed and less and less able to manage. So we devised the app in exactly the way that I've described, taking out the fear and putting in positive psychology. So the positive psychology deals with sexting, bullying, WhatsApp exclusion, um, Instagram comparison, uh, you know, fake news. Who am I and how do I show up online? What does addiction look like? Am I part of that? Am I in it? What, what should I do when I'm starting to feel like I've been scrolling mindlessly? So the app has got beautiful moments of mindfulness in it. Um, it's got components that show what's happened when, what happens when you send one picture. How can that go viral? What are the implications of that? So in those WhatsApp simulations, the teens go, gee, like, I can see how that little, you know, um, process happens. So instead of us going with this wagging finger, you know, you are terrible, you are bad, get off your screen. No teenager is able to hear that right now, especially during this time when they're locked away. So, yeah, we, we think that it's a fun, approachable, more engaging way for them to, to really hear the messages that we want them to. Um, and then there are quizzes and all of those things that allow them to consolidate their learning. And the parents get the app on their phone as well. They can see at the end that what we strive for and what the kids get after they complete the 14 modules is a social media license. In the same way that you need a license to drive a car, you have this lethal weapon in your hand. Now you are ready. So, and after completing each module, you know, they get a little certificate of completion. It's based all on reinforcement and reward and fun. There's a, a, a whole section for, for grade um, sixes and, and fives and sixes, which is obviously a more diluted um, experience for parents to, to feel safe about. And then the grade seven to nine kids have got, you know, stuff around even things like depression, anxiety we've put in, self-harm. Those kinds of things Clicked has really thought about very seriously because that is part of what goes down when kids watch themselves online all the time and they see other people's lives and they think, who am I in relation to this perfection that I keep seeing? Um, mm -hmm. It's very painful. They don't know how to process that. So the, the app deals with all of that, but in an open, engaging way rather than a lecturing way. Mm -hmm. What a beautiful app. And I like the social media license thing. I think uh, we should be monitoring our kids and making sure that they also obtain their social media licenses. Uh, all right. And how is it available? How can we get it? So if you pop onto our website, um, www.clicked, K-L-I-K-D, clicked.coza, 
Um, you'll be able to see a download there and um, all the information that comes with it. If your child is under the age of 13, parents have to give permission for their children to obviously download it onto their phone. And, and older than 13, you know, the kids can, can go ahead. Um, and it's, it's really, there's tons of free resources on our website from, you know, how to, what is Instagram? What is Reels? What is Roblox? All of those things, are, are these new apps good? And what's amazing, I think, is that we've provided live updates for parents. So as new things come about, you know, for example, there's something now called paparazzi, which is exactly what it sounds like. It is your friends being able to be your paparazzi. So your friends can post at will pictures of you without filtering them. There's no filters like they are on Snapchat or anything. So can you imagine for a teenager nothing worse in the world than being uploaded by your friends um, you know, in a compromising way. But it gives them that sense of fun and excitement. And in the beginning, it feels like, gee, I've got all these people following me. And so what we do in the live updates is we create um, for parents what we call clicked verdicts. You know, here's the latest thing. This is what they're doing. This is what's happening right now. This is what your children will see on Roblox. This is how to set up a safety control. Click verdict, cautious yes, definite no. We just keep you informed all the time. But the real way to manage your children online is, you know, between the app and the relationship. So what we're wanting is to keep the conversations open. And what we give every parent that downloads the app, um, you get a free conversation starter book um, that deals with how do we actually have a conversation about pornography? How can I talk to my child about um, Instagram comparison? How can I actually have the conversation about bullying? What should my child do when they get excluded on a WhatsApp group? So we've got every chapter, um, there's beautiful conversation starters that they get, and it just allows that channel of communication, the rope between you and your child to stay open. Because often as parents, we think, how can I broach the subject? Um, I don't know how to talk about this really. So mm -hmm. we've given you the literal way to actually kind of engage those difficult, hard to speak about topics. Mm -hmm. It's so important, so necessary, because uh, we never had that opportunity, you know, a conversation starters, our parents hardly spoke to us about these uh, uh, hard topics, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of like something that we just stumbled across, you know, and, you know, they threaten, they threaten you, like, don't do this, don't do that, and you're like, okay, you were scared not to do that, not to even try it out, so um, I think... Uh, uh, such apps, such books will really help uh, new parents like myself to uh, navigate through life. I mean, I have a three year old, I have a long, a long way to go. Might not be too long, but uh, yeah, let me get those books now and start <laughs> getting into Paw Patrol. One minute is Paw Patrol, and the next minute you're in Roblox. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, so Pam, thank you so much for your time. Um, once again, the website www.clickedklikd.coza. Uh, feel free to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, really lots and lots of free resources in addition to the app. Um, and thank you for the lovely opportunity. So special to be with you. And, you know, just listening to your adverts in between, I can hear that your station's heart is really in the right place. Thank you so much and uh, keep well and stay safe. Have a wonderful day. You too. You too. All the best for now. All right. So that was uh, Pam Tudin, a clinical and forensic psychologist uh, and an author and also an app developer. Uh, she, she and her partner founded this uh, app. And uh, for more information, you can go to www.clicked.co.za. That's K L. I K D for more information. Um, you'll find information on how to on the app. Uh, you'll find information on how to talk to your kids about hard hitting topics, topics that you are too afraid to start. Uh, very necessary and very informative what to say and what not to say. Uh, we can't always just be telling our kids, don't do this and don't do that. Uh, we, we don't want to be those type of parents. Anyways, if you have any further comments, questions, queries, or suggestions, you can uh, send them to us on WhatsApp. The number is 061-766-0355. And you can leave your comments in the comment section below. But for now, stay with us. We will be right back. <laughs> 